today. I've challenged my friends to a $1,000 competition to see who can come up with the best tiny builds in Minecraft. You might think Minecraft is completely normal right now until you realize that I'm actually tiny. All right, okay, so I need to have something set in place here that should be in direct competition with the rest of the guys. But this is going to be way better than anything they can imagine. A small little pot of bush. Let's go with that. Let's just have it in a line here. All right, we're gonna, you know, alternate it like that. I need to use this iron chisel here and build a tiny build hack in Minecraft. First, Minecraft fish tank that fits every single mob ish and what I guess whatever you want to call it into one fish tank. Watch this, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe the door can be a, a trap door like that. Yeah, it can work. Then we'll have pod sole on the inside. We'll have the back be a trap door like that too, so you can like walk through. All right, so let's see. We have tons of different blocks that we could use from. I'm thinking oak logs. Let's get a foundation going for our base here. So if I hold shift, I can actually make this a little bit bigger like this. Oh, look at this, bro. This is so cool. We got the mangrove around. We got glass on top. Um, Look at this. We got fish. Dude, look, look at this. Oh, 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 oh my lord. Oh, oh my lord. It didn't work. It didn't work. I'm so sorry. And then we'll use a spruce for the roof. And I can't really do much better than this. Ooh, okay. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, that works. Works a little bit. Okay, now all I have to do is get the walls down, which this is going to take some time as being tiny is not as easy as you might think, okay? We got a shift wall. There we go. Why did the fish not go inside, though? You, you, you guys got to... You, you messed it up. You got to go... In, you have the puffer fish has to go inside. Oh, and actually, I sh need to place some animals here first. Right here, I'm going to place a horse. And um, how does it look? Is it going to... It's only staring in one direction. That's not going to be good. So we're going to have to kill it. And we're going to have to think of a way to lock them inside. And voila, look at this. I can now go inside of my tiny Minecraft house. Now I need to add a lot more here. I'm thinking, why don't we go for... Mm, Go for a nice red carpet. First, we got to get rid of all this grass, bro. You know what? I genuinely think that this is a work of art. Let's see. Can I can, can I get something in here? Maybe like a tropical fish or something? Maybe like... No, no, no. Wait, I guess not. No. Okay. We're going to make this a little bit bigger then. Now, I think maybe just having a fence gate here. A yeah, fence gate should be fine. Now then, I got to place this to contain the animals. And when they get in there, I'm going to turn them real small like this. I'm going to put a nice little window right here. We got to be able to see outside. Am I right? Oh. Oh, yeah, look at that, bro. That looks so cool. There we go. Now, we put our puffer fish in. Oh, why do you want to leave so badly? The, you know what? It, it's not It's not directly a fish tank, but, I mean, it, it, it kind of counts for something. We got all the fishies here. So let's try and push him down here. Real iffy. Just uh, go down there. Thank you. All right. And now we have a bunch of small horses. And uh, let's maybe... I need a slime block here so they don't take fall damage. Let's get myself a nice little bed. We'll do that right here. It's my tiny bed. Look at this. Yo, this is so weird. Now, of course, every Minecraft house needs to have your essential blocks. So we have our crafting table right here. It says crafting table, but it doesn't really uh, look like a crafting table, if you ask me. It's not tiny, but it's it's, it's also not, not big either, right? No, guys, guys, get get into the water. No, yes, I'm trying to save your lives here. Get, get, get in the water, dude. There you go. Oh, oh my. There we go. Into the water, you guys go. Come on, everybody out. Boom, drop them all down. All right, I have no idea what they're doing, but they're all jumping. All right, I managed to stop them jumping. And as you can see, no, I didn't. Uh, they're, anyway, they're all in there. How about a pumpkin decor on the top? I had a pumpkin, because why not? Bro, you can barely see what the texture is, but it says in my inventory, carved pumpkin. And then, of course, every beautiful house needs to have some greenery. And I'm a big fan of the grass. Oh, this is, this is going so badly so quickly. This was supposed to be a one block build. Now, this I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm going to take these real small blocks as well. Oh, gosh, that doesn't look good with shaders, does it? And I'm going to try and make a small little fence. Add it all around the base. Make it blend in a little bit with the grass. And voila, my tiny Minecraft house is done. Probably the worst aquarium you've ever seen in your life, but that's okay. That's all part of the process. You got to start somewhere. We are le we're all learning something. All right, listen, everybody's got to go. And then we got to change everything into, I don't know, like a sea lantern, maybe? Let's take some spruce slime place them right here like this and we're gonna have chains in between here and in the meantime i'm gonna place grass above and summon in a bunch of pigs and set them all real small hopefully they can't escape please don't escape oh gosh okay yes they're not escaping perfect this is a little bit more than a one block but that's that's, that's that doesn't matter right yeah yeah yeah
Okay, glass on top. Then we go in here. We start filling it with the fishies, all right? This is what it's all about. You get all the fishies in here. You get the tropical. You get the puffers. And then once you think you got enough, you want to get more of your tropical fish and just, just, just go with it, okay? Hey, Kevin. How's the build battle going? Like, it's going good, yeah? Bogey, I, I'm sorry to cut to interrupt. I just didn't even notice this guy right over here. <laughs> Dude. Oh, hi. Hey, yo, chill. Chill, bro. I'm a little tired. Okay, guys, relax. Listen, let me see what you built. Okay, Kevin, yours better be good. All right, okay, okay, come here, little booger. Come here. Yeah, little booger. Oh, wait, guys, wait up. I'm a little. Wait, guys, I'm going as fast as I can. Yeah, you do look like a little booger. Mogi, stop. Mogi, Mogi, let's go shark speed. <laughs> guys, relax. Come on, man. Come on. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Yo, this is actually cool. Oh. Wait, is this a, is this a fish tank? It is a fish tank for, for little people like you. Can I ask you a question? You spent all this time and all you built was this? S sir, do you not notice the tropical fish under there? Do you know how difficult? What did you do? Go and catch them yourself and transport them here? Y yes, I did. Yo, he placed a wreath over there. Look at that. Yeah, it's all part of the, the build. Wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Beautiful. Mogi, please show me that you have something better. Please, please. I beg you. I beg you. Uh, maybe. I'm not happy with it. Mogi, why does it look like you have a dead crop over here? And how are these pigs my size? I uh, cause, uh, cause I took them for, uh, I'm, um, yeah, yeah. So you took, you took them. I'll save you piggies. No, why are they, they're bigger than me, bro. This is scary. <laughs> this is really scary. Oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, this is my uh, miniature little farm. We also have small horses in here. Ah, that's cool. So, wait, it's actually a whole farm. So, this is your barn with all your horses. This is your pig stable. Or, no, a horse's stable. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then these are nice little flowers. And you have your garden. Wow, this is beautiful. You know, I like this a lot. But you want to know what the true definition of tiny is? Uh, you. Okay, not funny. This is the true definition of tiny. Mogi, where did this guy put his build? Look down, Kevin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look, I can go inside of it. I have a bed. I have a crafting table. I have a pumpkin and I have some leaves. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Shark estates. Shark estates. Mwah, 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 mwah. Beautiful French kiss. Yes, this is the real definition of tiny base. I don't know about you guys, but I think I deserve some, some points for this one. Okay, honestly, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh! Hey, 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 my base, what are you doing? What happened? <laughs> so I must build the most beautiful and tiny yet large pirate ship known to man. Wait, what is happening over here? Hello? Is this water broken? Hello? All right, now sticking on with the theme of small builds. Now watch this, watch this. Okay, okay, okay. We need a light lightning rod, 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 rod. I don't know. It's, I think it's it's an end rod. That's exactly what we need, and we need a candle. So we need to do a miniature end. How should we do it? Well, first, let's start off with a hole. And then set a spare of end gateways that is hollow and remove the top half. And uh, now we have this. Every great pirate ship needs to have enough room for all of the pirates to travel on it. I'm going to be crossing the Atlantic Ocean with this pirate ship. Hey, listen, the guys may be making fun of me because I'm tiny in this video, but you gotta be honest with me. These tiny builds are actually really cool. Yeah, they are a little bit broken, but they are so cool to actually do. And if you think we should do more tiny builds, be sure to leave a comment which one I should do next. Now, now pay attention, okay? Look, 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 look. You put one here. You put the next one here. What? Put the candle on top. And you put the carpet right here. Look at that. You can even like do something like this. Tell me that is not the coolest sword you've ever seen in your life, dude. Perfect. A lot bigger and uh, more space to do stuff. Let's find the center again. Let's get ourselves the dragon egg right here. Let's make the center part a little smaller. There we go. We'll just pretend this is it. Now we got to decorate it a little bit. And we also need an ender dragon right here, actually. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we got to do a little bit of an archway. The, our pirate ship has to be buoyant because an unbuoyant pirate ship is a pirate ship waiting to sink. Oh, my booty is coming along. Yes. I mean, my pirate ship. They call it pirate ship's booties, right? No, that means you're going to... I don't know. I was never a pirate. Wait, can we light these candles if we got, grab like a flint and steel or something? Can we light these candles? Is, is, is that what's... Is that a thing? Oh, no flipping way, dude. You can light candles. That just makes this thing so much 
cooler. Summon Ender Dragon with no AIs. Uh, sitting there real nice. Now let's do scale, set, base. And let's do uh, point two. Now we must have the captain's deck, which is going to be right up here. It's crucial that you see where you are sailing. So you don't sail into a rock. And now in here is where we will have our sleeping quarters. And boom, shrinking him. Very nice. Let's get an end stone. Let's use these as small ones. Like small, small little hills around here and there. So let's add some glass right along here. Here. And then if I go ahead and grab some wool, we can make our bed. We'll do one massive king bed right here. And we also need the obsidian. One here. Each of them at the, the, the like, uh, these locations. And this is where the captain can steer the ship. I am not going to lie. This is looking awesome. <laughs> Let's put crystal balls up on this. That looks better, I think. There we go. That's what the end usually has. And here we have Steve. Now, we all know what one of the most important things of a pirate ship... Well, that is the steering flags. You know, the big white ones that they use to blow in the wind? Yeah, that. He, of course, is dual wielding. And now I just place a bunch of endermen with the name tags. Hope they don't teleport away. Please don't. So we're going to do our first layer right over here. It's going to extend right to each edge of the ship. Set them all small and perfect. Now they shouldn't try to escape. Ah, uh, yes, there's one completed right here. Now, of course, we need one in the front. And uh, just for security reasons, so they don't escape. Uh, perfect. All right. And just like that, my pirate ship is done. My build is by far the best one, hands down, this round. Guaranteed. Promise it. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. I mean, my mine's, mine's pretty cool too, dude. It's, it's... Does anyone have chocolate milk? All right, Kevin, let's see what you got. Let's see if it's so cool. If it's so cool. Okay, okay, dude. Come, come take a look at this. Wait. Whoa. Okay, so it's a dragon head wearing a uh, pinata on his head. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. No, no. It's it's a dragon that got stabbed in the head. And that's how the great warrior beat the ender dragon. Ah, and then what is this? Oh, you have four dragons that were stabbed in the head. And the great warrior has one. But why are these candles lit and those ones aren't? I thought they were swords. Because these guys are all four together. So they're they're lit. Hey, let's go check out something else, shall we? I agree. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Mogi. Let's go and see yours. I'm stoked to see this bad boy. All right. Hello. Welcome. Oh, yo! Yo, this is so cool! No! Oh, my Enderman! Uh, so, um, uh, uh, there you go. Okay. What? What? You have a literal Ender Dragon with the End Crystals and Tiny Enderman and Steve. Wait, is Steve dead or is he fighting them right now? No, he's dual wielding his Diamond Swords. Okay, wow. What a freaking guy, bro. That is so cool. Yeah. You know, Mogi, I gotta hand it to you. This one is really cool, but I don't think you guys are exactly going to be prepped to see what I've built. Oh, really? Arr, give me your booty i mean um um i uh, walk the plank you're a mighty little captain aren't you ah yeah what you even have a like interior yeah i do i do that's my bed actually look it's my bedtime <laughs> Mogi, you sneeze once and this, this ship's gonna end up out of the map. What? Hey, dude! Come on, you gotta give. Uh, 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 it, it actually, this is really nice. Hey, hey, relax, relax. You gotta give me credit, okay? This is sick, okay? For a tiny build, this is really cool, okay? It's a Kraken! They're land squids. Help me! Ah! I can't! Oh, God, I'm going. Come on, swim, pirate. Swim. No. You know, guys, if you're not going to give me credit, I know the comments will. Everybody, just comment down below. My my, my build's the best, okay? All right, so I see these boys, or I mean, I see Shark doing this weird-looking uh, small block stuff. I was thinking of making a mini nether, okay? All right. Let me bring this side in by that. As a tiny player, I built a house. I even built a pirate ship, which is being engulfed by squids. I think I think it's time that we build ourselves an item like a tiny but giant pickaxe. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves. We're going to need a log and we're going to need diamond blocks. All right. This is our simple little village path. We'll place some flowers around. They're giant trees, probably, or something like that. And then we need to place down a chisel. All right. And let's get started, shall we? We need to build this one out just a tad more. We need the lava to kind of go in like a nice kind of area. So once we fill this all in like this, they'll have a very, very creative design, if you would. Now that we have the monument, we want to add a little bit of a moat surrounding it. So I know this is as crazy as this sounds. There's literally a water bit, which it's invisible. So I don't know. Oh my gosh, bro. Look at that. It's actually a mini water, bro. What in the world? Let's make myself off, son. 
nice. It's a little bit easier. And let's continue building this village. So this is one of the simple houses. And I can't really do a door, so I'll just have to leave the opening on the front, uh, you know, open when I'm done with this. This simple little house, at least it doesn't take long to build, so I can build a lot of them. Slowly adding up size until we get something like this. Now we do really want to make a little bit of a mountain here. That looks like perfection to me. Okay, so now we can go ahead and start adding our monument. We're going to want to go ahead. We found the center right there. Ah, dude, this looks so cool. Now we have to add our section for our actual pickaxe. I need to make myself smaller as well because I can't actually fit in these houses. I'll have to make real small villagers to fit in these. All right, looking good. Completing said statue, we need to kind of add something like that and like that. See, you see, you see how, you see how wonderful something like this looks now? I think we should probably make all of these nether bricks and this is going to kind of branch out and make our fortress a little bit here. And now the last thing we need to do is fill in all of our diamonds. Bro, I don't care. The guys can make fun of me all they want for being tiny, bro. But these builds are freaking sick. You can't even lie and say that these aren't, bro. Summon a bunch of villagers. Let's make them all super duper tiny. Yeah, now you're all my size or this house's size. Maybe the door should be free tall. I really want to add some key details here. Look at that. Then we're going to need some more fence posts because we need we need to stick with the kind of crimson kind of look. This is so flipping sick. And voila, my diamond pickaxe statue. Let's go. And now with this whole house here, we can place down a bunch of them. Awesome. In the village of uh, Sam Housington. We'll make a small fountain in the middle. We'll take this water bit here and place it down. Ah, this is so much better. Oh, yes. This is so much better. We can kind of branch this out a little bit more. And summon a bunch of iron golems. And we're going to set those small too. All right. Perfect. Now we have lots of villagers here. All right. Let's... Let's keep going on with this, huh? There we go. Now, if we create barrier, 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 barrier. Drop one of the blazes in here. Put that there. And now, if we take everything away, all the little barrier blocks will disappear. And I just made a little mini nether. This is the final round. I hope you guys built something crazy. Kev, let's see what you got. Yep. Yeah, dude, I win. I win. Come here. Oh, boy. Whoa. You win. Okay. What in the world? Is it a mini nether? Yes. I mean, okay. Definitely. I, I, this is probably one of your better builds. Builds. Oh. Well, wait, 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 Shark. Can I can I correct you there real quick? You, you did say mini nether build. <laughs> For you, it's regular size, my boy. <laughs> ah, get wrecked. Ha ah, ha ha. So funny. So funny. You know what? I'm I, I'm out of here. I'm going to Mogi's. Wow. Mogi, did you build a garden? Oh, wait. It's a village. Okay, bro. Yep. <laughs> it's adorable. Bro, this is so sick. Look at them all. Bunch of villages. Yay. This is so cool. It's my hot tub. Yay. Yo. Wouldn't you like it, Shark? Wouldn't you like it? Yeah, I, I do like it. This is so cool, bro. This is so insane. I can literally go inside of these. Actually, I don't fit. They're too small for me. They're actually too tiny for me. No, you're just too big. You eat too much lava cakes. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah, fair point. You guys keep messing with me saying that, you know, my builds are bad because I'm tiny. But this right here is my diamond pickaxe monument statue. What do you think? I'll be honest with you, dude. This is my favorite build you've done. Is your pickaxe filled with water? No, it's it's diamond block. It's just how the texture looks. Water. Yep, the color is great. At least I get that. Now, you guys, the viewers watching, get to comment who won in today's challenge. And, uh, well, for everybody else, Kevin's a noob. Mogi's a bot. We'll click right here to watch the new video. And I'm going to run 